Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 1, Lesson 6, Problem Set. So, um, we're going to be working with ratios again, uh, two sets of them, and I'm going to be building some tape diagrams based on this. So, we'll look at one, and then I'll uh, do one all the way through and then get you set up uh, for two, and depending on how time goes, maybe I'll uh, end up going through that one. So, one says, shall we compare the number of oak trees to the number of maple trees as part of a study about hardwood trees in the woodlot. She counted nine maple trees to every five oak trees. So there's my ratio, nine to five, maple to oak. And I'm going to write that so I know my order. Later in the year, there was a bug problem and many trees died. The new trees were planted to make sure there was the same number of trees as before the bug problem. So the total number was the same. The new ratio of the number of maple trees to the number of oak trees is 3 to 11. So there's my ratio now. And again, maple is first, oak is second. After planting the new trees, there were 132 oak trees. How many more maple trees were there in the woodlot before the bug problem than after the bug problem? So, first thing I want to do is uh, I'm going to build a tape diagram. This is really going to kind of help me out with it. So that's maple. Oak is going to be five. So this is... Uh, four and then my new ratio uh, I'll do in blue so you can tell the difference maple had three and oak had uh, 11 okay and the big thing that it says here is after planting the new trees there were 132 oak trees. So I know that this is after they planted, meaning that amount is worth 132. I have 11 units that equals 132. So I'm going to take 132 and I'm going to divide it by 11. And I'm going to end up with 12. So that's how much each of those units are worth. Now I can uh, say that this is 132. That would mean this one is 3 times 12, which is 36. And it carries up to the other ratio. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times 12. Because each unit is worth 12. That'll give me 60. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 times 12. And that'll get me 108. So now I have to answer my question. How many more maple trees were in the woodlot before the bug problem than after the bug problem? So I'm looking at maple. And I'm going to find the difference, because I want to know how many more. So 108 minus 36. And that'll give me 72. Um, so the answer to that one is there were 72 more maple trees in the woodlot before the bug problem. So there's my statement there that I put in, um, in black. Uh, you'll have to further explain how you did that, but we gave a pretty good explanation that we found um, how much each unit was worth. Each unit was worth 12, so you multiply 12 by the number of units, and we showed that right in here. Let's take a look at 2, and again, um, I'll do uh, most of this problem. The school band is comprised of middle school students and high school students, but it always has the same maximum capacity, meaning the same total amount. 
That means if I add my units together, they should equal before and after. Just like in my first problem, I had 9 to 5. That equals 14 if I add them. I had 3 to 11. That equals 14. So my ratios for this, I'm going to get two different ratios. They should equal the same number if I add them. So last year, the ratio of the number of middle school students to high school students was 1 to 8. So that's middle to high. However, this year, the ratio of the number of middle school students to the number of high school students changed to 2 to 7. And if I add 1 plus 8, I get 9. This is just my check. 2 plus 7 is 9. So that is true that uh, the ratio doesn't change. That's going to mean that each unit is equal to the same amount. So if there are 18 middle school students in the band this year, how many fewer high school students are in the band this year compared to last? So again, I'm going to draw two sets of tape diagrams. So um, the first one I'll do, I have middle and high. I have a 1 to 8. And then this is a, looks like a 3. Let me change that. I don't want to start getting stuff that looks like numbers. Uh, that was last year. And then the blue will be this year. And this year we have 2 to 7. And that's this year. So my statement, the big one here, is 18 middle school students in the band this year. So for middle school, this is equal to 18. So two units equal 18 students. So now what I can do is take my total number of students, 18, and divide it by 2. Because if I divide by 2, that's going to get me how much 1 unit is equal to, and that's 9. So each unit is 9. So now I can take these, and I can say I had two units of 9, that's where I get my 18. Down below I have 7 units of 9, that gets me 63. So this amount is 63. If I go up above, I have 1 unit of 9, so that gets me 9. And then I have uh, 8 units of 9, which is 72. So now we got to answer the question. How many fewer high school students are in the band this year compared to last year? So we want to look at high school students. Um, so I'm looking at this value and this value. And I see that I have uh, 72 and 63. And I can subtract that to find the difference. Or I could say... I see that there's one less block in my ratio this year because there were eight last year in my ratio. Now there's nine. So how much is one unit worth? One unit is worth nine. So either way, you'll find the correct answer for that. And then you'll want to try to explain that the best that you can. Um, just stating that there's one more unit uh, and each unit is worth nine. Therefore, there's nine less students this year. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and good luck on the rest of your problem set.